Welcome to another very special edition of Hornbill TV Explainer, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Al Nguli. The San Juanico gas disaster in disaster in Mexico is considered one of the worst industrial disasters in the world. A series of fires and explosions occurred at a liquefied petroleum gas tank farm on November 19, 1984. The facility and the settlement were devastated during the time, approximately um, 502. 600 people were killed in that explosion. Again, approximately 5,000 to 7,000 people suffered severe burns. Closer home in Karnataka in India in March um, 2022, just recently, 30 members of a family, including uh, three minors, suffered injuries when an LPG cooking gas cylinder exploded at their residence. And that's not even talking about the frequent cases of destruction, death or injury caused by LPG related explosions in India, ladies and gentlemen. Not too far in the recent past, uh, in 2013, the national media reported that the number of deaths caused by cooking gas cylinders and stoves bursting in Tamil Nadu and Gujarat were among the highest in India. The National Crime Records Bureau showed that approximately 586 people died in Tamil Nadu because of explosion of gas cylinders. Gujarat recorded approximately 735 such deaths. Uh, there is a list of other states, the NCRB report pointing to incidences of cooking gas related accidents. Uh, in fact, such reports are common enough that even those of us in the news media generally do not highlight them all the time whenever it happens unless there was large scale casualties and damage. Now, according to the data, 82% of the victims were women, especially homemakers, potentially pointing to what experts say is actually foul play. Statistics show that 481 women lost their lives in cylinder blasts in 2011 in India. Activists say that many of these kitchen accidents were actually suicides or murders over door issues and financial problems too. But of course, there are safety issues here when we're talking about gas cylinders. The safety issues are substandard cylinders, old, worn out or substandard parts valves, cheap or old regulators, and even a general lack of understanding about using gas cylinders, ladies and gentlemen. Reports say inspections by oil companies have also found many LPG consumers are unaware of safety checks on gas cylinders. For instance, regular customers are given valves and regulators which have the ISI stamp, but people who buy Cylinders from the black markets might be purchasing substandard products. That's what they say. Another matter here is that experienced LPG dealers ensure safe connections, but such uh, safety measures cannot be assured by someone who doesn't know how things work, especially the dealers. Uh, I have no doubt that many, many people have varying degrees of phobia about gas cylinders because of the kind of image LPG cylinders have come to have. That anxiety is one of the reasons manufacturers continue to pursue safe, durable and reliable gas cylinders for the market. And a new gas cylinder actually, a new gas cylinder type has been introduced to the market in Nagaland starting from Kohima. The Indian Oil Corporation Limited has launched what is being called the composite LPG cylinder. The 10 kilogram Indian cylinder has been launched in Koima, ladies and gentlemen. At first glance, the cylinder looks a little like an extra large lamp or even a large Chinese plastic toy container. Uh, but that's just my opinion about aesthetics of this new cylinder. If I'm not mistaken, an almost similar type was launched not too long ago in Nagaland. It looked like a translucent plastic container that you could see through and you could actually see the level of gas, gas that is contained in the container. But from what I heard, people weren't really trusting that thing in their kitchen. It looked too filmsy, too plastic, 
and didn't encourage that much of confidence of safety in consumers, uh, but that's a different product I think. Let's get back to the Indian oil composite cin cylinder and why people are curious about this new cylinder product. According to our Kohima correspondence report, the composite cylinder is lighter and easier to handle compared to the existing steel or iron cylinders. Further, it comes with various safety measures. For some reason, the report did not mention what safety functions the cylinder had. Considering that this is not an ice cream pack, but a gas cylinder, ladies and gentlemen, not talking about its safety guarantees is like talking about YouTube, but not talking about the videos. So, Hornbill TV did some reading up on this. We checked various news sources, websites and even oil companies and their statements in some of the products related to composite cylinders, ladies and gentlemen. So, this is what we found on first. Indian Oil Corporation's website. A lot of information sources on the internet claim that the cylinder is blast proof or non-explosive like the conventional iron gas cylinders are. Uh, we found many of these websites claiming that this new product is blast proof and I think that was one of their selling points. One website even claimed that in addition to being lightweight, LPG composite cylinders are also safe. That was quite a direct claim made on the website. This website called Joyti Gas stated that the new cylinders are made of a special composite material that is fire resistant and explosion proof, reducing the risk of accidents in homes and among families. That was a big claim that we read about. You can check it out on the internet. But on Indian Oil's website, there was no such claims, although the information about composite cylinders, especially in regard to some of its advantages were given, but nothing like, oh, this won't explode, this won't start burning. So I think you have to really study it yourself. The website only says that the composite cylinder of Indian has a three-layered construction. It is made up of high density polyethylene inner layer it is com covered with a composite layer of polymer wrapped fiberglass and fitted with the HDP outer jacket it has three layers its advantages compared to existing iron cylinders are several uh, this new cylinders they are lightweight about 50 percent lighter than the one in your kitchen right now so the tear away of a composite cylinder is half of its steel or iron counterpart the metal one Mm, I wonder if it's steel or iron. I think it's iron. They have a translucent body. This helps customers to accurately check the LPG levels against the light. So if your gas container is starting to empty, you know how much of gas is left in the cylinder. So you know, oh, it's time to go and refill a new one. So that's why it's translucent so that uh, you know when you need to refill your cylinder. So this new cylinder is also rust free and I think I can believe that and it is not corrosive and unlike the ones that we have in our kitchens which are made of metal, uh, very soon they will start to show rust effects on its scratch marks, a lot of dent marks and damage to the iron ones. So our kitchen is full of scratch and weird tear marks on the floor because of all the pulling and pushing. You know, every time we need a new gas cylinder, we have to push and pull and we have to carry them. A lot of marks on them. The new composite cylinder uh, is said to be resistant to corrosion and damage and probably lasts much longer than conventional iron or metal cylinders. But for the composite cylinder, there are less chances of leaving marks on the floor besides being durable here. Considering the claims being made by various websites and news sources about the new composite cylinders, it would seem that the selling point for them is about how they might be blast proof and non-explosive unlike conventional iron LPG cylinders. For now, we don't know about it, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe that's why Indian Oil doesn't seem to make such big direct claims on its website. 
but there are actually a lot of them that are making a lot of claims about how this is the safest, how it is blast proof, how it is non-explosive and all that you have to really check it out yourself. In any case, if you are worried because safety is more important than anything else for you and your house and family, maybe you should talk to your LPG dealer or just call up the manufacturer's customer care and get your doubts cleared. Please know that you are not to take our advice or opinions made in this program, this explainer. This is a disclaimer that we are only presenting to you educational information available in the public domain about some of the contentions being made about the new gas LPG cylinders. This explainer is only for educational purposes. Please note that for whichever product you choose is your responsibility and by your own risk. Happy shopping though. I'm Al Nguli. See you next time.